Hi, this is Natalie Lissier, and this edition of Getting Techie With It is all about domains versus hosts. On your mark, ready, set, let's go. Dance for pro, I know, you know, I go psycho when my new joint hit. Just can't sit, gotta get jiggy with it. That's it, now honey, honey, come ride. TKNY, all up in my eye. You use the web every day, but have you ever thought about what makes websites run? What's the difference between a domain and a host? Well, today's your lucky day because you're about to find out. When you type in a link into the address bar, also known as a URL, you're typing in a uniform resource locator. And what that means is that you're actually typing in something that your computer needs to look up. So your computer will look into the domain name system, DNS for short, and find out where the website is located. So there are servers all over the world that are hosting the different files that we see on the web. So all the images, all the data, and all that good stuff is hosted somewhere in a physical location. So a host or a server is a computer connected to the internet that holds your website's data, images, and all that good stuff. So your domain is actually a link that points or represents your host. So your link is just an easy to remember address for the location of your host server. And your host server is really just like a big powerful computer that's on all the time and that's accessible from the outside so that you can find all the files and images that you have on your website. Your host and domain may be purchased from the same company or from two different companies. So in both cases, you will need to point your domain to your host. And where a lot of people tend to get confused is if they order a domain and a host from the same company, they don't know the difference between the two. So that's why it's really important to know when you're transferring a host or a domain. If you change hosts, for example, you can just point your domain to your new host. And what that does is it'll allow you to keep the same link, the same URL, but change the server itself. And that allow, also allow you to um, transfer all your files to the new host. And of course, if your host gets struck by lightning, it's good to have a backup in place. And I know that from experience because I've actually had a host get struck by lightning and all of my data was lost. So no matter what, you need to have a backup in place. You can also point additional domains to the same host, kind of like having different folders on your computer. So you could have more than one domain po pointing to one host, and that would allow you to have different websites on one hosting account. You can also have one domain forward to another domain. That would be like one link pointed to another link. Getting jiggy with it.